Wichita State University baseball has its first home game tonight, and fans will notice changes. Okay, since Mally Jones is live at X Stadium in Mally, one of the changes is right where you're standing. Yeah, I'm here in the outfield parking lot at X Stadium and come game time, you're going to see something out here that you wouldn't typically see RVs. That is one of the many changes coming for Shocker fans this season. The Shocker RV Village will now take up part of the outfield lot for weekend series, not midweek games. The RV parking lot opens three hours before the first pitch of the series. Head baseball coach Brian Green says winning and the fan experience go hand in hand and tailgating for the weekend is perfect for the city. When we came into the interview process, I had talked about uh, the opportunities for maybe an RV program and have camping over the weekend, especially since we don't have football, um, you know, and, and Wichita being a, a place that really enjoys sports, sports towns. So uh, I thought there was a market there for, and we thought there was a market there administratively as well for an RV experience. There are also new food and drink policies for Coleman Hill. I'll have all those details coming up at 630. Eddie, Alexis. All right, Mally, we'll see you back then. The home opener for Wichita State Shockers baseball is tonight. The team is throwing fans some changes in case it's Mally Jones is live inside of the stadium with this year's new policies and amenities. Good morning, Mally. Hey guys, well this right here is one of the new amenities fans can experience with a look over the outfield while still experiencing Coleman Hill. And that's where fans are going to see one of the biggest changes. Fans can now bring sealed food and drinks to Coleman Hill. That includes beer, so this energy drink right here. This is a good example. This can is closed, so this would be allowed inside, but anything that is not sealed will not be allowed. So that includes fountain drinks, cups like this. You cannot bring that stuff in. And things that are bought in the stadium can't be brought into the outfield and vice versa. Things that you bring into the outfield, such as those sealed food and beverages, those cannot be taken into the stadium area. 20 quart coolers will also be allowed and inspected. You cannot bring them in one hour after first pitch. So make sure you get those in early. Fans can bring in small gas grills as long as there's not a burn ban. Catcher Mauricio Mion says lively crowds make them feel supported. We really feed off that energy that that fans kind of bring um, to our game. So we're really excited about it this year and we're really looking forward to to the impact Coleman Hill is going to have uh, on Shocker baseball. Another change out in the parking lot in the outfield parking lot. RVs are now going to be allowed for weekend series games. We're going to have all those details on KSN.com. Here for you, Mally Jones, KSN News 3. I'm sure fans are just so excited to experience all those changes. And yeah, Mally's one of those fans. She was singing that <laughs> Take Me Out to the Ball Game uh, song before she <laughs> left the newsroom. Thank you, Mally. <laughs>